Hi guys, this is Go for Agriculture channel. Today we are going to discuss Arun Katyan Chapter Seven, Crop Production. Today we are going to discuss wheat. Previous lecture we have already discussed rice. So here wheat come under the family Poaceae or grass family. First question is, what is the scientific name of wheat? Triticum estivum. Origin of wheat, South West Asia. So we have already discussed scientific name of rice, Oryza sativa, like that. Scientific name of wheat is Triticum mistivum, and origin of wheat, South West Asia. Highest production of wheat in which state, according to two thousand twenty. Answer for this question is Punjab. So protein content in wheat is eleven to twelve percentage. so this is drastically higher than other cereals protein content next common question what are the five types of triticum species that are grown so first we will classify triticum dicocum and triticum durum because of same chromosomal number that is 2n equal to 28 so triticum dicocum means emmer wheat that is uh, grown in some part of southern states like maharashtra tamil nadu karnataka so this wheat is called rava and you know the famous item that is made in this is upma now triticum durum that is 2n equal to 28 it is also called marconi wheat so this is very old and best wheat for drought condition so vermicelli is made by this type of wheat next one triticum ulgare that is 2n equal to 42 it is also called bread wheat it is uh, used for rain fed condition then triticum spirococcum that is uh, we can say less commercially cultivated species then at last triticum estivum 2n equal to 42 that is used for making chapati so these are the five types of triticum species that are grown in india maximum draft wheat evolved by Dr. Norman E. Borlaug. So this scientist was the first one to bring Mexican draft wheat variety to India at Green Revolution. So this is very very important question. Next one, chapati making quality depends on gluten strength. So gluten is a content that makes quality chapatis. So strong gluten candy. are most suitable for bread so if you have uh, strong gluten varieties these are you very suitable for making bread next one parts of wheat membrane structure continuation of sheath through the collar is called ligule so ligule is a part that is in the leaf sheath it is a membrane structure that is seen through the collar next one horn or claw like appendages projecting from the collar of the leaf is called auricle so uh, if you see in the collar of the leaf there will be a claw like appendages that part is called auricle so these are the two parts you can differentiate from rice and wheat next one inflorescence of wheat is spike so the flowering portion of wheat is called ear or head but it is botanically called spike now next question test weight of wheat is 40 grams so test weight is weight of 1000 grains next one norin 10 is the first drop gene weight that is uh, we can say the first drafting gene wheat is norin 10 this is very very important next what are the first mexican wheat varieties that are brought sonora 64 sonora 63 and lerma rojo so these are the first uh, mexican wheat varieties that are brought in green revolution after that many resistant varieties are brought for the resistance of pest and insect like uh, kalyan sona and sonalika next one national average yield of wheat is 22 quintal per hectare now the main part of wheat in which many questions 
many competitive exams this question asked is what is the major weed in wheat that is pallaris minor it is controlled by using isoproteuron at 2 kg per hectare it is applied 32 35 days after sowing and next weed is wild oat that is avena fatua this is also uh, controlled by uh, isoproteuron now general question is critical stage of irrigation cri stage that is crown root initiation flowering stage late tillering stage milk stage dwarf stage so crown root initiation mainly 22 days after sowing then flowering stage 90 days after sowing after that many stages so if a farmer have water available for only one irrigation then scientists recommend to plant or we can say to apply water at cri stage only if farmer have water for two irrigation then apply water at cri stage and boot stage if farmer having water available for three irrigation then apply water at cri stage boot stage milk stage thank you for watching this video if you want more and more video then subscribe our channel go for agriculture if you want ppt then download from our telegram channel that is go for agriculture till then stay tuned